I suppose just to build my experience managing cows and I suppose as the dairy industry grows to manage people, I think that's the key end of it. My name is Richard O'Brien of Chagas. I'm coordinator of the Chagas Glambia Future Farm Programme. And today we're on Kevin Murphy's farm and we're joined by Kevin and the farm manager Brian Sunderland. So first Kevin, maybe just give us a, an overview of where the farm has come from the last number of years. Uh, Richard, um, we start, I started farming in 1982 uh, after completing a year in Kildot and Agriculture College uh, farming with my brother Richard. In 2014 I formed a company uh, with, my, with my wife Anne and today uh, after five years we're still farming in the company. And, and Brian, you joined the setup up here and, and you're working on this farm here. What, what, what do you want out of a farm as, as a manager? What are you looking for out of the farm? I suppose just to build my experience managing cows and I suppose as the dairy industry grows to manage people, I think that's the key end of it, to, you know, as we get bigger and more efficient. Um, then for my own sake to maybe grow wealth and cow numbers myself and get access to land one way or the other, either through purchasing or leasing or something like that, cow ownership. We'll be calving around 280 cows this year, which will probably, give or take, we'll probably still milk the average 250, 260 next year, are all next going to plan, yeah. And what's the size of the farm? In total, we're farming 136 hectares. Uh, 80 hectares of that is leased through various arrangements. Uh, we have a milking platform of 75 hectares and we own about f just over 50 hectares is owned. Okay. And about with stocking rate, the stocking rate is about two and a half overall on the platform. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Brian. So, Kevin, what's the plan? What's the future plan for the farm here? I suppose uh, at the moment we're in a consolidation phase um, after all the building and um, we're just getting used to. I suppose um, making them numbers and uh, when, when the quote was finished we probably had 150 cows so in, in the period from 15 to 19 we probably increased by 100. Uh, we will increase by another 50 if we can get uh, another 20 hectares uh, and I suppose uh, the key will be uh, we'll stock the farm to whatever ray of grass we can grow. Maybe just outline maybe the new build to us here. O only this time last year actually we decided to, to put in a, a roach parlour. Uh, and um, the build started in December, just straight after dry off, and we were up and running on 17th of February. Um, we can now, we have now halved the milking time, so we're we're milking now for an hour and a half in the morning, including wash up and, and the whole lot. So, Kevin and, and and Brian, you're part of the the Future Farm Chagas Be a Future Farm program. What do you hope to get out of the program? Why did you join the program? Uh, we, we, we joined the programme, we've seen it as an opportunity to, to become better farmers. Uh, we, we expect to be better at grass, uh, budgeting, planning, uh, anything that can improve the technical uh, performance of our farm. That's what we saw it as an opportunity to, to, to achieve.